and welcome to my channel. My name is Arena. if you are new here. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to my videos. Um, today's video, I wanted to actually talk about something really interesting that I saw this morning. And it was a post from the company Adenola that make the gym wear and outerwear um, clothing. And they posted um, a caption that just said, we are not doing, in fact, I'm going to read it to you. Okay, so their post says, we wanted to let you know, a note from Adenola. We wanted to let you know that this year we won't be taking part in Black Friday sales. We no longer feel that taking part in Black Friday sales aligns with our efforts to deliver quality products at an accessible price and supply products to genuine demand. Instead, this year we will be saying thank you to our loyal community with other benefits coming your way. And as always, we are grateful for your continued support and being the most important part of our journey. We'll be in touch with exciting things for you soon. The interesting thing is underneath this post, there are comments from customers and they're very negative. And basically they're saying, oh yeah, because you don't have any stock, quality is not that good. There's basically a lot of hate under this post. So I have to give it to Adenola that they have made a very big stand and a lot of people won't like it. So they will get the negative feedback from this. But what they've also done at the same time is created um, a presence and a confidence and a belief in themselves and their products and their success to the point where they're not willing to compromise on their own value. And I really, really, truly respect this because in a world where everything is price, 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 everybody's shopping cheaper, you've lost something that's very important as well. And it's brand loyalty and it's customer loyalty and it's a genuine relationship between the customer and the company. And I really like what they also did there in saying that we're not going to lower our prices but we are going to increase your value. So this is what really hit home to me. Now, some of the people don't get this. And unless you're in a already in a, for example, you know, you go to, I don't know, a high end shop, a high end boutique, you're looking at a high end price, a, pro a product. You will never think of, I'm going to go in there and ask for a cheaper price. You won't because there's a stronger relationship there between the customer and that brand and that product there's a belief there that isn't ever gonna go depending on the price and this is what loyalty is about you've created something that no other kind of price battle is gonna be able to undermine um, and I certainly feel that in myself I used I've worked for companies where we would very much chase very much chase the price and whether you're going to get the sale from that person, it really became like a, a, a total rat race because there was no real, um, you know, there was nothing behind that further, more than the price that I was offering the client, let's say. And in a world where it becomes very much like that, you're constantly chasing your tail and you can't really deliver something special to that customer because you're working with something very low value, let's say. Whereas for in where I am at the moment, I feel that there are many more things that I can bring to the table for a customer beyond just the price of that product. And this is the, the key, key, key point. You can buy a product. There are many similar products on the market. And there are the little things that we notice about an exchange about a product about a sale that actually makes us warm up to that sale or to that experience or to that person that we're having the exchange with and a small example I will give you is I order perfume samples all the time and I'm not particularly fussed to start with I wasn't particularly fussed where I was getting them from I just wanted the perfume so I've tried a few different ones and the one that won me over, and it's such a small example, but this is how important these things are. I received um, one time from one particular brand. In fact, this is who I now use. 
um, little package with the samples. They were very, very beautifully packaged with gold foil. They were um, the, the most pretty um, like wrapping paper, like pink, pretty. And this even the sticker had a branded sticker um, with their name. And the palette was really nice. The color palette was really nice. And they put a little note inside that was a handwritten no note as well as like a branded um, like leaflet thing. But they also had a handwritten note. Every time I have ordered from this company, it's been the exact same experience. Oh, and a little sweet or a few little sweets inside the pack. These are the things that make me as a human being feel connected to something. And just the care, the attention to detail, the attention to a little thing that's going to make someone feel good and is going to put a smile on their face. Sometimes these things, when they're taken away, it's just another box with some fragrances. I wouldn't care if that person hadn't created that experience for me. And it doesn't, obviously, it doesn't have to be that you put goodies in things, but it's just the little things that someone does are the little things that most people won't do because they're so busy like trying to beat everyone on price and yes price can matter like I'm not saying that people won't care about price of course they will but if you can back up that price with an experience with um, the support that you've got for that customer with your expertise that you've got of that customer the product no longer becomes like a cost thing it becomes this package full of value and full of full of useful things that that customer is going to get from you that they won't get from anywhere else so however you want to word it like for example can you educate you know is it a product that you're also going to get education with is it a product that you're going to get yourself like guiding the the customer um and making sure they're successful can you guarantee to this customer that you are there to make sure their experience is going to be successful so it depends obviously what product what sales environment you're in but it truly has to be that you are offering more value rather than a cheaper price that will never the cheaper price option will never put you somewhere where people are going to recommend you or you know people will really think about the value of that person is worth you know that investment that i'm making there's always going to be someone cheaper. There's going to always going to be knockoffs. There's always going to be things out there that you can't control. But the other thing to add to this is what is in your control to not just beat the market, but be way ahead of the market in what you're offering. Um, I think that's what creates like a more, more stability and success. And by making a stand like Adenola have done and not lowering yourself to race with everyone else may feel scary in the in the moment but often it really is the right decision because long term as long as you can deliver on you know on the quality as long as you can deliver on the service and that value that you promise to a customer it will 100% create long term success um and also it will put you in a position to be able to deliver. Whereas, for example, let's say you're always knocking down prices, there will come a point where you can no longer knock anything down because you won't be able to survive. So long term, that's also a really bad strategy. Whereas if you stand firm, you will still get the right customers. But long term, if you deliver on what you're promising, that word will spread and your customers are going to be the right customers, but they're also going to be loyal and they're going to be they're going to be the sort of customers that will recommend you because you've got a great reputation and you've not sacrificed things um, and kind of you know run yourself into the ground. Because that's the other thing. If you run yourself into the ground trying to be everything uh, to everybody and to keep up with what everyone else is doing, that's a very dangerous road in terms of our own health, our own well-being, our own performance. So it is important to really stand your ground because you're going to be stronger. You're going to go the distance, whereas a lot of people that are trying to do the quick win, they're probably going to crash and burn quite quickly because that's not sustainable. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to do this quick video on Adenola because I think they've done, in my opinion, a really great thing. And please comment in below this video if you agree or if you disagree. And I look forward to seeing you all in my next video.
Take care, guys.